for Harry and Meghan now out of the social, royal, and professional loop. Is Meghan Markle worried about Prince Harry's bond with Catherine? That's what we're diving into in today's newsletter. Hello, friends. Welcome to the King YouTube channel. Honestly, it's hard to say Harry and Meghan had real jobs, especially with their struggles to make a mark on Netflix and Spotify. Plus, Meghan's minor role in a lesser-known Canadian TV show doesn't exactly scream career highlight. It's true Canada might not be famous for its TV shows, though their movies are somewhat better. Socially, the couple used to be quite popular, at least until they lost their royal connections and people began to question Meghan's motives. As for their royal status, they still have their titles, which many believe should be revoked. Harry barely spends any time in the UK anymore, just quick visits for must-attend events while Meghan has seemingly decided it's best for her to steer clear of British soil for good. So, are they truly finished? In their eyes, probably not. It's unlikely Meghan would ever admit that she's out of the game. She's got too much pride to see how much things have really changed for her. Initially, Meghan had the opportunity to gain popularity and respect as a working royal alongside Harry. However, she chose a different path when she realized that the royal lifestyle wasn't as easy or glamorous as Hollywood. For Meghan, making it into LA's elite circles was always her ultimate ambition, possibly because her father always told her she could achieve anything. But let's be real, not everyone is cut out for the spotlight, and it seems Meghan might be realizing this now. Meghan Markle is unlikely to become a top Hollywood star. It's hard to accept, but her fame largely stems from her marriage to Harry, who isn't known for his sharpness. Together, they've turned into somewhat of a spectacle in Hollywood and beyond, thanks to their various projects and public appearances. Consider their efforts with Spotify, their books, their interviews, and just their general public persona, it's all been quite controversial. Meghan's father, despite his flaws, probably did love her and did his best as a single parent after her mother left. He really wanted Meghan to succeed and might have overdone it in boosting her confidence, perhaps contributing to the strong ego she shows today. Diana, in many ways, made similar errors with Harry. She often didn't correct his misbehavior, advising him instead to just avoid getting caught. This approach likely set the stage for the troubles we see today. It didn't help him grow, but rather burdened him. She seemed to lack faith in his ability to stand on his own, often pushing him to stay in William's shadow, as if his destiny had to be tied to his brothers. As for Meghan, achieving Hollywood stardom might remain out of reach for her. True success there requires a level of talent that she doesn't possess, and her age is also a factor against her. Her real skill seems to lie in influencing others, although this has not always been viewed positively. Meghan's actions can come across as lacking in moral integrity, making it easy to harbor negative feelings towards her. While she does have some acting ability, it appears she's used it more for manipulation than for art. She managed to sway Oprah temporarily and even tried it with George Clooney, though without success. Initially, Harry and Meghan's royal status drew people to them, but over time, many have reevaluated their stance, likely seeing past the initial glamour to the reality underneath. Meghan Markle might have achieved much more had she simply embraced her role within the royal family. Instead, she chose a path where she often positioned herself as a victim, alienating those she perceived as obstacles. This approach has caused Harry significant losses, leaving him appearing more as her follower than a partner. If Meghan had demonstrated more acting skill, perhaps she could have secured more roles after her time on Suits. However, her departure from the show was influenced by reports of being difficult to work with. The producers, directors, and her former castmates have clearly indicated that she wouldn't be welcomed back for any potential reboots. Interestingly, Suits gained more popularity in 2014, well after Meghan's departure, highlighting a shift in the show's success trajectory. There seems to be a link between Meghan leaving Suits and the show's subsequent improvement, which might explain why she appeared so eager when she first met Harry. From around 2013 to 2016, she seemed to be searching for someone who could help her secure more acting opportunities, as she was struggling to land roles independently. Her need for support wasn't just about acting, it was about having someone to help pave her path in life, as she was desperate for fame and recognition. The few jobs Megan did manage to get, aside from her early gigs like waitressing and yachting yachting, often came through her father's influence or her connections with Hollywood, including those through her ex-husband Trevor. Additionally, there are claims that she was let go from Deal or No Deal because she reportedly made inappropriate advances towards host Howie Mandel. 
Megan has been criticized not only for her acting skills, but also for her behavior towards colleagues, which some describe as bullying, both physical and emotional. There are also claims that she lacks a strong work ethic and often avoids hard work. Her tendency to mislead and her focus on settling scores seem to be well known. Frequent reminders in the media suggest that Harry and Meghan's actions are often seen in a negative light. There have even been disturbing accusations of criminal behavior from them, raising serious concerns. It's alarming to think about the influence they could potentially have on their children with fears that they might pass on harmful behaviors. Their impact is a topic of concern not just in the U.S. and U.K., but also in Canada, Australia, South Africa, and other parts of the world, affecting many. Balanced, healthy individuals are fed up with Harry and Meghan's poor treatment of their families. The couple seems to have squandered Harry's inheritance, spending vast sums on fake bots and paying to spread lies about William and Catherine. It's likely that Harry and Meghan are responsible for the recent media attacks on Catherine. There's also suspicion they may have been involved in bribing hospital staff to steal Catherine's medical records. Harry and Meghan's attempts to damage the royal family involve serious accusations of libel, bribery, slander, perjury, and theft. They reportedly harass employees, which some consider treason against the monarchy in the UK. Harry's past alleged abusive behavior towards women and animals is coming to light, and both are under scrutiny for tax evasion, tax fraud, immigration fraud, charity fraud, and other possible offenses. These claims paint them as fraudulent and possibly mark the beginning of their downfall. Additionally, neither Harry nor Meghan seems particularly intelligent in their decision to pursue Hollywood stardom over royal duties. They underestimated the challenges of becoming a top Hollywood star, which demands significant talent and hard work. Meghan seems convinced that people enjoy hearing her speak about social issues, though her commentary often feels repetitive and lacks original insights. Her speeches are often filled with vague and insubstantial phrases, lacking real expertise on the topics she discusses. Her overconfidence and inflated sense of self-importance can be unsettling. She often repeats the story about a letter sent to Procter Gamble, which she claims to have written herself, though it was actually a class project. Megan claims to be a feminist, yet her actions suggest otherwise. She seeks to associate with anyone who is wealthy or famous, riding their success until something better comes along. This behavior is not typical of someone with self-respect, whether they identify as feminist or not. Despite her aspirations, Megan was never part of the Los Angeles elite and may not fully grasp what it means to be a true Hollywood star. Some may overlook the fact that Megan has also completely cut ties with her father, an award-winning Hollywood figure. Given his connections in Los Angeles, her treatment of him is seen as unacceptable. Her narcissism often clouds her judgment leading to poor decisions. Recently, there were reports that Meghan is feeling uneasy about Harry's changing relationship with his sister-in-law, Catherine. It's hard to tell if this is true or just more false information. Comparing Meghan to Catherine seems questionable at best as Meghan's past is starting to catch up with her. When Meghan Markle offered her services to wealthy men, her portfolio was available to anyone interested. She competed with other high-profile women who traded services for money. Kirby Summers, a woman who suffered from sex trafficking and endured an eight-year relationship with a member of the Illuminati, has mentioned Meghan's association with Epstein, Lolita Island, and other influential groups. Meghan reportedly went on eight trips in a single year, serving billionaires from all over the world. These trips connected her with some very powerful individuals, but her relationships with these people did not earn her respect. Typically, people in her line of work do not marry billionaires, they just serve them. On the other hand, Catherine came from a loving, stable family. She is well-educated, speaks beautifully, and carries herself with poise and charm. Meghan Markle carries herself with an air of arrogance and a big chip on her shoulder, likely due to her past experiences with the elite. She has shared stories about being so hungry during a yacht trip that she had to eat just bread. It seems Meghan was determined to marry a billionaire despite her questionable reputation so she could then look down on others. In contrast, Catherine never pursued such a path. She is devoted to love and deeply values her in-laws. She took the time to understand the rules and traditions of the royal family, earning their respect and trust. Catherine also contributed to the future of the crown by giving them beautiful grandchildren. She prioritizes her family but also supports her own charities. Meghan, on the other hand, seems uninterested in doing charitable work or raising children. Meghan Markle continues to strive for social status. 
displaying questionable habits and a desire for wealth that the public easily recognizes. She's never going to reach the same standing as Princess Catherine, and it's not due to insecurity. Meghan's obsession with Catherine is driven by envy. These are the key topics for today, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on them. Please leave a comment below, and don't forget to support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching our videos, and I look forward to seeing you again soon on Arthur King YouTube channel.